Hi, welcome to my video. This is a video on the WMF salt and pepper set. Now, the reason why I'm doing a video on this uh, pepper set is very, very unique, this pepper set. Um, we've, me and my wife first saw this pepper set in uh, Budapest in a restaurant and we fell in love with this pepper set, um, salt and pepper set. So I ordered it when I was over there on uh, eBay and by the time we came back from uh, Budapest um, we received this uh, salt and pepper set. So this is just a unboxing and just a quick look through. Um, this salt and pepper set costs just under £20 uh, for the salt and pepper set. It is basically stainless steel and wood. Now I'll try my best to take the stuff out because it's the wooden block within there that you sit on it that is so, <laughs> as you can see, it is not easy to get out because it's exactly the same size, same width as the box. Right, it's come down, that's it. Put the box to one side. Now, what you get with this, as you can see, is the salt and pepper um, pots, the block which they sit on, and a funnel. Right, the block is a solid wooden block. Now, they state that the block is made out of um, oak. This block is made out of oak. So whether or not I am not really somebody who knows about his wood. So if anybody out there do uh, see this video and do know if this is oak, just by looking at it and by the color of it, um, just please leave it in the description, whether it is oak or if it's something else. But as I said, on the description, they said that it was an oak. So let's go to the salt cellar and the pepper and the pepper pot. Now, as you can see, it has an S engraved on it, which is engraved, not stenciled on. It's engraved on. For S for the salt and obviously the salt comes out of here and bear it in mind with these salt cellar uh, this salt cellar right you have to put in already grounded salt so it's not one of these that has the crystal salts that you put in and then you turn it and it grinds the salt this one it has to be filled with ground already ground salt and it has the bottom here which is out of rubber so this is stainless steel which is and the bottom has a rubber plug here which you take off and you fill the tube using the funnel here no, I, won't, I won't take the funnel out because my wife wants this for oh I'll take it out it's, it's, I thought it was sealed so I'll move that to the side what do you do? You use this funnel here, you put the funnel on there, and then you pour the salt into the funnel here um, to fill up this tube here. So that's what the funnel is for. Once that's filled, place the rubber bung. Mind how you fill it. Fill it. I would personally fill it to when that hole is filled up, then remove it, and then make sure you can get that rubber bung down in there and then that just basically sits sits in that hole here now with the pepper one it's the same thing you have the pepper as you can see there engraved on not stenciled on uh, you have the holes it doesn't have three lines of holes there it has just one line of single holes and same again stainless steel and a rubber bung there rubber bung there 
and the same thing again you fill the pepper mill with grounded black pepper or white pepper it's up to you but it has to be grounded so it's not the pepper buds not the pepper buds because the pepper buds go in the salt uh, pepper mills that you turn that's what they're going uh, that's what you use them ones for this ones take already grounded salt and gr already grounded pepper that goes in here same again you fill it replace the rubber bung on there rubber stopper and obviously when you want the pepper it's I would when we was there at the restaurant we just tapped it like that and got the pepper out and that fits onto there and that's how they look when they're on and this is why me and my wife uh, loved it because with our decor of our dining room uh, with our decor of our dining room and the particular um, cutlery we got um, this fits in with our decor so um, that's why we um, fell in love when we saw these plus uh, we like unusual stuff and this is quite unusual um, for a salt and pepper um, salt and pepper shakers then basically this is very unusual to see um, since then we when we looked up this company um, WMF they have other pepper salt and pepper sets which are also very unusual um, some integrated salt and pepper sets which is just one unit which also looks uh, very unusual um, but so if you're looking for something that is not ordinary um, not that everybody else has you can't go wrong with um, this company at all you can't go wrong with this company so just take a look on uh, eBay for this company I do not know if they're on Amazon I have to admit so you have to have a look at it if it's on Amazon uh, see if they're on there but uh, I know on eBay they are on there so um, this is as I said this is a quick video of one thing I have absolutely forgotten <laughs> these are about if I put it on my hand here as I said I've got I've said in previous videos I've got medium sized man hands so I'd say this is about roughly about five inches probably about five five and a half inches long um, these um, salt and pepper set is about roughly five and a half inches long and when they stand in the the block the wooden block they're about six inches tall um, as you can see on there they still they have the logos on there of the company on top so as I says you can't go wrong with them as a, uh, and as, as you get with it you get the funnel so you don't need to worry, worry about how you're gonna pour the stuff pour the um, contents into these because you get the steel funnel um, with it stainless steel funnel so I hope you like this video on the WMF salt and pepper set um, I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and Please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.